for Moon Horse. OK, so, so presented to you Moon Horse. So what's the problem we have first? Microservices are too large. So and, and client side code cannot, cannot store data across multiple devices. So we need, and also we need to depend on less, depend less on libraries to like left pad to avoid things like the left pad incident. So what's our solution? Moon horse. So it is the best API in the world. Use only APIs to build your application. And it's totally not half written on a stack, half written stack machine. So what's the benefits? It's very secure. No dependency on libraries. Super debuggable because you, all you need is the network tab in DevTools. And then uses only standard web, web browser technology. So all HTTP GET requests and, and all location headers responses. <coughs> so let me show you how this works. So first we have Swag. So this is what you get. This is the API documentation. Uh, it's incomplete, of course. We don't have much time to do it. So uh, there's all functions. Add, constant, divide. Is greater than, multiply, pad left, printf, square. So let me show you how to use pad, uh, pad left. OK, no, subtract first. OK, so you just type URL, subtract, question mark A. You pass the arguments. A, uh, 1,000 and minus 2 will give you result 9998. OK. And you can also do this for left pad. So how do we make use of this application? So we can make requests like that. So you can see here, we fetch. First, we want compute pi, right? So we get pi from the API. Oh, we got pi. OK, then we square the radius. And here, square radius. And then we multiply pi by the radius. And then we print the text. So your circle is area percent f. And here is it, when it loads. Uh, let's uh, run. Whoa, OK. And then let's, let me show you. Network tab. Run. Whoa. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so okay. So here's another example. Very simple. It prints. Uh, and the, this final example we have here. What is it doing? Is it's compiling. You can also write in a second format. So you can write as individual requests in promises, or you can write it as a list of code. And then each each UR, each URL will be compiled using this thing that basically joins it and embeds it using UI and code. And then it'll, you just need one fetch command now to do everything. But you know how does this work? <clears throat> Let me show you. So we are going to compute the radius, maybe 3. So now what this does is also compares whether it's less than 10 or not. So you can see here, all each single uh, thing that happens here uh, gets the constants, multiplies. And then if it's less than 10, right, it'll take this branch and it'll skip. And then it'll print your bigger circle. If I put one, for example, the area of a uh, square with, uh, circle with radius one is less than 10. Whoa, the smaller circle. So it's branching. Whoa, OK. Yeah, and that's it. Thank you. Plus points for your use of common sense. <laughs> OK. Uh, next theme up is uh, Spacey. Spacey.